Welcome back to GDs to our brand new episode of Hyper Life Drifter, where today we're going to be taking on the final boss, or at least what I assume to be one of the final bosses. We are going to be trying to clear out this west side of the map and try to find all these cores. Now, last episode, we kind of had a little bit of an issue in terms of trying to actually find these. It is a very secretive area. They all seem to be kind of hidden around in different areas. So hopefully we'll have a better chance of trying to discover it a little bit more this time around. Now, I believe we do have one core there. As you can see there in the very top left, we have one core and we need two more cores in order to unlock the fourth core there in the fourth side. And that should allow us a path in all the way up to the boss room. So, hey, without further ado, how about we get started? Now, taking a look here, we are actually right here in town first because we do have four of the gold coins or four of the golden. Honestly, I have no idea what they're called. I'm probably misremembering or not even remembering. I'm miscalling everything in this game as far as I know, because it's, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, I've not been taught anything about this. I'm still just as confused as everything else. We are un uncovering the story as we move along. But hey, because we do have a few of those gold coins, why don't we go ahead and actually let's invest finally into this dash move. It costs three of them, and I don't know exactly what it does. It looks like we're able to kind of like dash around in a triangle. I'm not too keen on that. It seems like kind of dashing around in a triangle isn't necessarily going to be all that helpful, but I guess it can kind of be helpful in some situations. So why don't we go ahead and take a look? It takes a double space to kind of go ahead and activate it. Now, does this have extra upgrades on top of that, or is it just primarily these in, in a general? Do we have something where we can kind of actually dash through the bullets, but we seem as though we haven't been able to unlock any of these. We only have this first one available to us. So maybe we can kind of progress along the way as we move along. I'm not entirely certain, but we do have this one now. So let's go ahead and take a look. What does this exactly do? So if we double dash, double dash, double dash, uh, double space bar, double space bar, double space bar, double space bar. I'm not entirely certain on exactly what it is that has done this. I, I don't know what this has done <laughs> i'm not gonna lie i mean hey if you guys know what this upgrade really did i feel like i just kind of wasted my coins a little bit here i'm it doesn't exactly explain well on exactly what it is that is doing my I mean, i'm double spacing my uh like it says double space and it doesn't really seem to be doing anything in particular besides the fact no i seem to be dashing exactly the same I'm not entirely certain, but hey, it's something. It's something we're moving through, and we are on our way to go find out where those cores are because, again, we had quite a difficulty trying to find them last time, but I'd say we just go ahead and kind of just start over, get a fresh mindset, and take a look at this with a fresh kind of, like, outlook in terms of, like, our pinpoint where it is that we might be able to find these things, right? Because I know that there definitely has to be one here in the starter region because as we were looking at this map before, as we go ahead and kind of change on over, there is one directly at the very start, kind of of the area. So let's go ahead and try to take a look, keep a keener eye on exactly where maybe these secret areas are, secret like trees and pathing ways. And oh, there's that health bar. If I remember correctly, there should be a couple of enemies directly within this area. I hear noises around me, out and around me in all different places. Um, Now that does go directly into the first pathing of the next area, but let's explore a, a speak the devil let's go ahead and explore around a little bit more because i did not find this around last time and there is another gold coin sitting right down here beautiful go ahead and collect that up we are still too short of collecting our very next one so hey if you guys are playing this game at home feel free to kind of follow along as well maybe a little bit as a walkthrough in a sense i mean let's be real here i'm doing another episode on the fact because i've not been able to find all the secrets so hey you guys can kind of play along as well kind of maybe if you guys feel like you could do better feel free to go ahead and download the game it has been recently on sale you know it's steam things go on say excuse me this looks like something this looks like an archway and it's suddenly i'm going down somewhere yep i this is exactly what i was talking about you need to come through with a fresh mindset and realize the things that you kind of missed before because as i'm trying to keep a keener eye out for what it is all these extra pathing things hiding behind these trees I'm really starting to notice a few things that I've, well, definitely overlooked in the area because I've already discovered two things immediately that I've not been able to find before, which is honestly ecstatic. But I'm still very confused on exactly what the dash upgrade did. I mean, it seems like there's a little bit of like a after image effect going on to this now that I'm not quite aware of. And have we been over here before? I see a bush kind of cut here. So maybe I have been. I mean, there's a few bushes here I can cut here. I'm not entirely certain go on down i don't remember taking a look at this well i'm gonna go ahead and say right there no i have not been down here <laughs> I mean, okay well yeah speak of the devil that is exactly what we've been looking for that is the very first of the cores or rather the second of our cores but the very first in the area that we should have been able to discover last time there we go now we have two of the four so we really only need to find one more that should give us access to the final area that'll give us the final core i'm a little bit confused here right because normally it takes four cores to unlock the next memory. 
if we go ahead and get this one somewhere on the south side and then we get this one on the north side that's going to be four but then that's going to be a fifth one right there what does the fifth apply to do we need a fifth is there going to be a door that requires five but as you can see there in the very top left the symbol only has four sections and from past experience of playing this game in the past episodes we only have four sections so i'm not entirely certain what that entails but i look forward to seeing exactly what it means and as well i'm always excited to see exactly what the rest of the story is because we should be coming closer and closer to the end I, if i remember correctly from the very first episode hello there good sir you're the one who showed us where the boss was you know just to, just to say hello to you again i'll give you the chance to even show me a second time nope never mind you don't gotta show me another time i guess he doesn't want to i see how it is <laughs> but you know it's um Ooh, okay there there's definitely have to be secrets around here that i didn't i've completely missed right there are trees everywhere there are avenues everywhere yeah if you guys are enjoying the series and kind of following along at the same time feel free to go ahead and uh i'm just gonna go ahead and toss a grenade in there right now and they all seem to be coming through that walkway and go ahead oh it doesn't hurt them on the other side of the tree line okay okay i mean sure i guess i mean in a way that's kind of how explosives work i mean you hide behind a tree it probably would protect you a little bit just do a triple slash on this guy they do actually have a little bit of the ability to dodge which is surprisingly just going to do a triple slash on him as well we are full up on med kits oh you know what fine i may as well take a little bit of damage then huh <laughs> I may as well take a little bit of damage you little gremlin bastards i know an anime i know the goblin slayer that would have a heyday with you boys i don't even know if you are goblins but you look like goblins almost like a little orcs as well are, are orcs and goblins related like aren't they kind of like a subset species aren't like goblins like a subset species of orcs I mean, if anything, my my knowledge of orcism, if that is the correct term, I'm sorry. <laughs> if that is the correct term, the only thing I really know of orcism is the fact that I think that maybe they're kind of like genetic mutations of goblins. I think goblins are like the purebreds in a way, and I think orcs are like the genetically modified version to be stronger of goblins. But then in the Lord of Rings kind of like lore-wise, then you start getting to like the Uruks, you know, the Uruks or something like however we pronounce it. Look, I'm a YouTuber. I think it comes with a territory that you're not allowed to pronounce anything correctly, which is honestly just, I swear, it's a sickness. It really is a sickness. Or maybe it's just the fact that because we play a lot of games, we come across a lot of different pronunciations of way of just try to say words in general. Uh, is there anything up here I should be concerned about? Anything off to these sides? Anything that can kind of like travel through the territory? I mean, this looks like another stairway into another area. We've been up to a few of these areas before. But we gotta keep and speak of the devil now that i look at it hang on a second hang on a second now that i look at this first of all ow um i still don't know what's going on with these keys i if you guys know anything about them by all means please comment down below what this symbol means there has to be something that i'm missing along the way i get i am completely uneducated when it comes to this game so i've been discovering things as long as we kind of come along and you know hey maybe after we finish the original story i can come back and do a couple of these extra side objectives and maybe lore or anything else that might be included into the game but of course i'm not going to know unless you guys let me know because i am a strong advocate of not looking up anything about a game when i'm first playing it right i don't want to spoil anything for myself i don't want to be like oh what's all the secrets and oh uh, grenade please yeah oh got all three of them hell yeah <laughs> i've not been over here before yeah okay good I don't remember really any of this stuff. Um, have I been over here before? No, apparently not, because here we go. We got another gold coin. Nice. You know, I I really don't like looking up things before because otherwise it just seems fake. I mean, it is fake. You know, at that point, it was like, wow, guys, I'm so surprised. Oh my god, I didn't know this was here. Just hide my search history of all the solutions and walkthroughs that I followed along the way. I'm so wow, guys. It just no, I, I would honestly have a genuine of like, oh, wow, okay, well, we came across this because we're exploring, and that really is how it goes, and, you know, the, I think the only close exception to something like that is maybe on occasion when we play something like a city build or a first look at a game, most of the time, in general, just as being a content creator, you do typically want to start it up just at least for a few minutes just to make sure all the audio quality is good because it's going to be a pain in the butt if you get in or if you're watching a cinematic and you find out that like all your audio mixes are completely just all over the place you know let's say like you know the slashing sounds are like way higher than the music sounds or often more often than not almost always often than not almost every single time in every single game in every single video i swear to god the audio is muffed right the music is always way too loud which 
I mean, look, when you're playing by yourself, it can be kind of nice to sit back and listen to the soundtrack as you play. But honestly, I'm a strong advocate of also wanting to hear the game sounds in general of, you know, me moving around and slashing at enemies and trying to figure out what's going on rather than just, oh, please leave me alone. Uh, is there another med kit around here? I could really use one. I see a crystal up here in an odd place. No, not quite. Keep on moving through. Uh, we do have a doorway over here. Have I, you know, I just, I, I'm going to keep on having the questions like, oh, have I been here before? Uh, no, this, no, this actually does seem a little bit different to me. I, I don't remember seeing an elevator over in this area before. I mean, hey, we're about to find out if I have, you know, any of these kind of gold locations already unlocked. Moving on through anything going on in this area? No. I mean, we are revisiting a few of these kind of locations and oh, wait a second. How am I bypassing that? There is a med kit right here. Thank you. Anything around, anything up in these keys. Maybe some stuff is always in these crystals or not always in these crystals, but sometimes there are things hidden away up in the corners like that. Keep on moving through. I mean, hey, I mean, I still do. Oh, we're locked. Oh, wait a second. I remember last time we got locked here, I suddenly cried <laughs> because we got surrounded. <laughs> yeah, speak of the devil. Okay, let me just go ahead and just try to take these guys out from a distance. I've learned my lesson. I'm a better player now. I'm out of ammo. <laughs> no, no, I don't have any ammo for my pistol. I, I don't know how to be American enough. No. Okay, I need to keep on slashing and dashing and crashing. Throw a grenade. I did not mean to throw. Uh, I did not mean to heal myself. Throw the grenade, please. And I even got the guy all, all the way up on the north side too. Very nice. And one enemy left. Don't want to take any damage. Come on, slash at me. Slash at me. Yeah, just like that. I take you out. Please and thank you. Get out of here. And yep, there is a med kit up here in the top right. And another one. You just unlocked the area. Don't you lie to me. Unlocking the area means that the area is unlocked, right? There's no more enemies. You shouldn't be able to do that. Hang on. I moved on a little bit fast. Anything that I'm missing around here. Anything in these trees. I can kind of walk along a path. Anything of the sort. Not really seeing a pathing situation going on. Not seeing any extra like stone kind of pathways oh i kind of went into the trees there a little bit no nope. anything anything kind of swing around anything hiding over on that side no nope. okay well let's go on back down towards the south i mean we're doing much better here again with a fresh mind sometimes when you're sitting there frustrated or even as a content creator you do just kind of get inside your mind a little bit of trying to worry about the commentary and trying to keep things a little bit involving try to keep things a little bit kind of you know just you don't want it to have stagnant because look everybody does their content completely different i i watch content where people obviously talk a lot less why because i talk more than anybody else regardless so obviously everyone's gonna talk less than me anyway and you know sometimes it just depends on the style of content you're going for if you want something where you have no silence you want the constant wordage you want if maybe you're at work honestly nowadays I'm allowed access to my phone at work. You know, I, I walk around the facility a walk. I, I walk, was it like 30,000 plus steps a day? I'm walking miles. My legs are always killing me. But you know, during that walking, I'm typically always listening to music. I'm listening to YouTube. I'm watching, you know, I'm kind of listening to D&D. &D. You know, maybe I've been, I've been watching a lot of Viva La Dirt League, which has an amazing D&D &D series. And then on top of that, they just started a new one. Like they have one D&D &D series, which was kind of like all the guys, like Adam and, um, uh, I know all their names except Adam. I, I swear to God, I know them. But now that I'm on the spot, they're completely losing my mind. Um, but they just started a brand new series still within the same kind of universe called the Misfits. And, you know, because the last group is like all men, this group is kind of like all of the women, which is part of like the Viva La Dirt League kind of, a, you know, atmosphere, you know, what, what do you call it? Not atmosphere, culture, the, uh, the community. That's the word I'm looking for, community. And oh, this looks like something. This is something. That is something. That's, the, that's what I'm looking for. Hello? <laughs> that's exactly what I'm looking for. See, now that's that genuine reaction I'm talking about. It's like, oh, I found it. No, there it is. <laughs> you know, you know, you just can't really get that. You just cannot get that genuine reaction with stuff. If you go ahead and just look everything up beforehand and be like, oh, wow. I, well, well, I didn't expect this. Yet. No, no. <laughs> and that's kind of the joy of this game. You just, just kind of get to explore around and find things. So that is our third slot. I believe i believe now I, I i i'm being very facetious or not what does facetious mean again i'm gonna have to look that up later um i'm being very literal about the fact that i believe that i think that's all that i need because we found one core previously in the uh in the previous episode but you know hey if you guys have not seen the other previous episodes i'm surprised you guys have managed to even be able to get what we like 15 minutes in this episode without watching you know going back and maybe watching the other episodes maybe a little bit more familiar with the game than i am you're just kind of just enjoying the commentary in general kind of enjoying the words but hey we do have a series you know i do have a playlist down below you know if you want to check it out share it around if you 
Uh, anything over further here? No, I think we're kind of clear to just kind of move back towards where we were before. So I'm gonna keep on moving to the left, but we might be able to find a few more gold coins along the way. He kind of came from a weird direction. Anything around here? No, okay. I, uh, okay, no, okay. But um, I'm gonna heal up. What was I even talking about? That's right. You know, hey, if you guys do feel like you just kind of sitting around for the commentary, that's right. I'm sorry, my mind, it just runs a thousand miles per hour. Now to circle all the way back to maybe about three minutes ago when I was talking about this of <laughs> when I'm at work, I'm, I'm walking around a lot. So I always got something in my ear and typically I'm always watching YouTube and I really like the style of video where I know the game that they're playing. I can kind of envision what's happening in the game as long as I, sh I watch it very shortly. But majority of the time, I'm just kind of like listening it as an audio only, right? I have it in my ear. I'm just kind of getting that background noise. I'm kind of just envisioning what's going on in the video because I know the context of the game in general, what's going on, listening to the sounds. You can kind of, you can just kind of imagine what's happening at the situation. So, you know, I like listening to stuff a lot of times. So with that being said, I, you know, I typically, I do like watching the, the YouTubers that kind of have a lot of more commentary, just to kind of keep myself occupied in the mind and stuff like that. And so I can envision a little bit better of what's happening anything else in this area before i move on anything on like this downside somebody might miss accidentally you know anything around here at all anything that i should be concerned about any extra health kits no okay we seem to be good keep on moving forward or rather keep on moving west the the, the story of the west side story <laughs> it's been a long time since i've watched the west side story wait hang on let's not get off track I'm always listening to audio when i'm at work listening to a lot of music listening to a lot of youtube videos i listen to the podcast been watching a lot of D D, or you know listen to a lot of D D, which is great so you know it's kind of a little bit more of my stuff that i like to go for in terms of just like well you know just like when people i i like to envision that people are kind of like listening to my content while they're at work maybe they're in the car or something of the sort and we only have three we don't have four so we can't open that door yet but if we keep on going forward there is another door that i think only takes three he's a lot of numbers try to keep up with me that door in the north didn't open yet right i was the door to the left was the door to the north I don't know. I guess there's only one way to find out. I mean, we're going to keep on continuing along and see what happens. So, yeah, hopefully I can kind of fill that void in your kind of, you know, in your dark, dreary, depressing life that you call existence. You know, when, if, when you wake up in the morning, you just, uh, you know, you got a lot to do at work. You want to keep yourself preoccupied rather than just the noise of the factory, rather than just the noise of the warehouse, rather than just the noise of people talking and playing their own open, loud music. I like to... I always like to have my headphones in because, yeah, we got people playing music out on the floor. We got people always talking. We got pallet jacks moving around don't you dare touch me damn it i'm gonna call the police on you um you know there's always just so much background noise and like even like today like today i feel like the work was just extra noisy we had people like you know the air pressure hoses and people playing their own music and we had a lot of people moving through the facility and like i i almost got a little bit over too stimulated of just like what do you call that um it's just not auditory like it's not auditory i'm trying to think you just get overstimulated you know put it down in the comments below what is that word i'm thinking where you get like overstimulated like you know like almost like when you're driving during a storm and you got music playing but you got to turn down the music so you can see better you know <laughs> so you can just concentrate a little bit better uh, the words are escaping me but it got to a point where like man there's a lot of stuff going on people are asking me questions i gotta go move things so yeah, I just got to throw in some headphones, listen to something, just anything that is not the absolute plethora of noises of like the orchestra of everything going on behind me and around me. Something a little bit more concentrated that I can kind of focus on. So that's kind of my outlook in terms of like watching, well, quote unquote, watching, you know, more or less listening to, damn it, not, not my health kit. Uh, I keep on using the Q to throw my grenade, but that is not the button. I almost kind of want to swap my health kit to another button just so I'd stop doing that. You'd think that at this point I'd be a lot better at it, but you know what? Hey, I'm a YouTuber. I don't learn any better. I'm not supposed to be good at games, which I, I do all right. I like to think that I'm like mediocre at majority of the games. I mean, when it comes to like FPS games, I am typically pretty good at FPS in general, just kind of like, you know, your first person shooters and kind of shoot them up, you know, ground them up type of situations. I'm usually pretty good at those. Um, actually, I don't think we really need to come down here. You know, that is that other guy that we found out was actually frozen in time. He is from the Elder Gods kind of, uh, he's from the Elder Gods situation. He used to live way back then, right? So they were like furries attacking this giant Elder God automaton situation. I know I just probably triggered a lot of people because of Hell Divers too, but they're essentially giant automatons. And then he froze them. He was frozen for a thousand years. He woke up and then he decided to make camp. I guess fair enough. You know, I mean, suppose... I meant to do that. I suppose the first thing I would do when I wake up from a thousand year nap would probably to make camp and go right back to sleep. <laughs> like, oh, how long have I been out? A thousand years? 
Ugh, just five more minutes, please. Or I'm sorry, just five more years. It just five more years. Just <laughs> I'll be back. Just put put me back under the ice. <laughs> With like super soldier type of style. Wasn't that uh super so that was um uh uh Captain America, right? Wasn't he the sort where he like fell into the Atlantic or the Alaskan ice and then froze and then got like taken out? Which I've always found to be I mean honestly just a really dumb trope i mean what what kind of trope is that like you fell into freezing water you don't just freeze into a perfect block of ice and survive you go through like slow stages of a hypothermia and like you slowly die and like your skin kind of crystallizes and all that stuff you can't just unfreeze somebody and now you're right as rain you're moving along that just seems kind of just like really lazy writing when you ask me I mean let's let's be real it just seems like really lazy writing you could be doing a lot better with that and how do we get up to the north you know if I remember correctly I think we actually did have to take that elevator down on that south side because I believe that brings us around to the north side past everyone up towards the boss room and the boss room I think takes three and then we'll have access to the final kind of crystal in the next area but you know yeah i always try to keep myself occupied and all that stuff which you know i hope that you guys kind of enjoy at the same time try to keep music going which you know by the way i need to remind myself to make my music playlist available or at least you know public which you know hey i, I know not a lot of people are really going to care about that but if you're ever looking for a youtube music playlist which i have been kind of curating over the years although it's got like 400 300 songs of it which I typically always have a playlist where I just kind of add music into of like when I just find a song that I enjoy like just throw it on YouTube so I can listen to it wherever I want you know just kind of go to my playlist on my account and just go listen to it if I don't have access to like my usual kind of music in general uh yeah I think we just need to kind of just move up along here it's all a little bit of the same stuff from last time just get out towards the boss room which should be right past some of these locations we're kind of moving through a little bit fast I remember there being more enemies it seems a little quiet too quiet if you ask me anyone no all right i mean i was kind of expecting when i said too quiet that i was suddenly just gonna be ambushed by a whole bunch of like dogs or something you know just complete that would never happen oh yeah no i guess that would never happen okay i mean it's, you subvert you subverted my expectations you know bravo game i suppose you know bravo <laughs> everyone there was probably expecting to be attacked and no it's just a nice leisurely stroll on through the forest and Oh, right. That's huh, a lot of dogs. Yeah. Uh, so if I go ahead and oh, they are still attacking. Can I just throw a grenade like right there? Is that going to get them? It does. It does. Well, it got one of them out. Oh, it got one of them. Oh, what? You're not going to get the rest? Or does the AOE not affect you past a certain amount? Get out of here. And dash. Ooh, that was a close one. I'm not very good at dodging uh, traps in general. I always seem to kind of land right on top of them. Dodge. Ooh, okay. Piccolo would be very proud of me. But, you know, I think I made that reference last time. If those of you who have never seen the DBZ Abridged series, honestly, what are you doing with your life? Have you not lived? It's probably the epitome of perfect, like, abridged comedy that I've ever seen. It's, it's fantastic. It's honestly, it's, it's class A comedy. I mean, it kind of fell off a little bit near the end. And it's a shame that they did eventually have to stop making it because of all the copyright claims of, you know, was it Toonami or something? Whoever the developers are of... Who are the developers are of Dragon Ball? Ah, damn it! Okay, okay, and dodge. I'm just, you know, I'm just gonna use Jerry. No! Oh, my lover. Okay, good, he's back. Okay, good. I'm glad that Jerry just responds. Um, <laughs> my lover down there on the bridge. Don't worry, I'll come back and give you a kiss tonight. Mwah. I love you, Jerry. Don't worry, I'll be back for you, my deal. Don't worry, I think about you every night. Ah, and there we go. Perfect. Now that is the door that we've been looking for. Three crystal lines, but hey. Before we move forward, perfect. That's exactly what I was thinking. Another med kit. Anything hiding off to these edges? Any other secrets that I've bypassed? Something that I definitely missed? You know, I've been kind of getting a little bit sidetracked and now into talking about things. So I definitely probably missed a couple of things. Oh, we're making our way. Ah, there's another gold coin hiding for us. Beautiful. Get that kind of... We How much do we have now? Hang on a second. How much do we have now? Go to C. We have two. You know, we could probably get another med kit upgrade, but we're not going to go teleport all the way back now. It will be helpful, though, for maybe when we find the actual final, final boss, because I believe after this left hand side, the west side, after we clear this out, we should be able to go directly south. And from looking at the map, if we take a look here real quick, the south side, uh, there we go. The south side is looking very 
simplistic you know i don't really know what that crystalline structure thing is i this looks like a teleporter but it doesn't look as though that there's a whole lot of discoverability just kind of a big open field maybe it's a big boss battle maybe that's like the final floor i have no idea we're gonna have to probably find that out next episode but we're still kind of trying to find out the boss in this area and my health bar has appeared there you are oh they're ranged ones now oh, you were just kind of like samurais before come on i really hate the ranged enemies i'm not good at dodging things I, I have the problem where I overthink. Oh, oh, here we go. Hello? Yeah, I'm just not going to let you a chance to kind of fire at me. Yeah, just take you out immediately. You've only got three health. A little bit weaker than your predecessors or your allies with swords. Anything over here before I progress forward? Because that definitely looks like it's going to be a battle. All right, bring out your dead. Bring out your dead. <laughs> Come on, make her slash and get it behind the trees. Nobody saw nothing. Like, they are they're just coming out of the ice they are literally coming out of the woodwork or rather the, the, the ice work or crystal work is it ice is it crystals is it what's the difference i mean an ice does ice count as crystals i mean i've heard of ice crystals like they are a formation of crystalline structures so i don't know the answer to that ow i don't know if it counts as a crystal uh, you know, look, I say leave a comment down below a lot of the time, mostly because I know that I'm not going to remember even when I go back through and edit some of this. Because, look, let's be honest, with these longer episodes, these longer series, the whole point is the fact that you guys get to enjoy the game along with me. Uh, that looks like it's going to progress some things. Anything I can see back over here? But, you know, I like to kind of explore the game in general. And I, you know, even when I'm editing, the whole point is the fact to bring you guys kind of a mostly unedited video so you can kind of enjoy the game along with me see the secrets you know nothing real hot you know no real big jump cuts unless i just you know don't talk for like 20 30 minutes searching for something real quick and i fast forward which i did a little bit last episode but yeah no not a whole lot of editing in general so we can kind of just enjoy the whole experience together well, with that being said it means that i don't always necessarily go back over the parts of which i've asked questions in the editing in order to go look that up myself and often I don't remember, even if I do edit it, I'm like, oh yeah, I should go check that out. Ooh, another little elevator down without going up. Okay. You know, without going anywhere in, I'm just going to skip over it. So a lot of times I'll be reminded if you guys leave a comment down below and like you go look it up, you know, hey, do my work for me. I'm, I'm, a, I'm sorry. Go, go do my questions for me because God knows I'm not going to remember to do it because even if I do come across an editing, chances are, an, oh, really? You're hidden. Nice. So this is going to be our fourth crystal. Does that mean we're about to get some lore? I'm going to stop talking for just a moment. I know surprising because I think we're about to see an animation of some new lore that's about to happen. Um, that seemed a little bit like an intermissionary in, 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 into like an in-between point of the story because we saw the same kind of being that weird black structure that, that weird black guy that, that uh, 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 hang on <laughs> we saw the weird black guy come out of it all of a sudden and um, I don't really know how he went, the, the weird black goo guy and come out of a sudden and he, had, he attacked us we saw the same kind of diamond structure kind of blowing up and stuff but it seemed a little bit shorter than usual last time we saw that door appear from the ground. We saw the door, the, the weird giant column appear out of thin air and kind of like tower over us. But this time it just showed us the door again. So maybe it's saying like the next time we come through, the door is going to open and show us what's inside. I'm not entirely certain. Of course, that's the whole point of trying to discover what's going on as we are finding out this whole story together. So yeah, there's just more questions than there are answers. So we're getting closer to whatever is the resolution of this game. Okay, yeah. This entire area was a little bit null void. Well, we did find the last core, but this whole side wasn't necessarily all that important because I believe we needed to go more directly to the left. This was a little bit of an adventure off on its own pathing. So let's go back down and see what's in the other area, right? Because I believe there was entirely new pathing off to his left-hand side, right? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, let me get out of there real quick. You fired thrice? Okay, let me use a med kit before I get taken out. Throw a grenade. Throw a double grenade. 
there we go yeah please i mean we get enough of the ammo back regardless so i may as well just go ahead and just use them now use them as much as i can try to keep up my med kits because we are likely about to go into the boss here soon so we may as well try to stack up as much health as possible we got full health uh we're gonna need a couple more grenades though too let's lay off that's right they dodge i forgot about that and dodge one two dodge Ow, I'm very bad at dodging. I'm very bad at dodging. I, I, I ended up taking out the wolf along with me, not even meaning to. He, the wolf ran into my sword. I did not kill the wolf. The wolf ran into its sword. It killed itself, okay? <laughs> um, Really, this isn't a door. That has to be a door. We probably just have to clear out the area first. And there are, wow. Huh. So I imagine you guys are not here to celebrate my victory, right? Oh, victory? No, yeah, no, my victory over your dead bodies. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> oh, God, like, what are you talking about? My victory over you. Get out of here. Get out of here. Use my pistol. You can't dodge all the bullets. What, you can dodge a bullet, but you won't be able to dodge my sword. What's that dodgeball state? If you can dodge a car, you can dodge a bullet or whatever the heck. <laughs> Take it out. Or if you can dodge a brick, you can dodge a ball. I think it was. I always forget the... Uh, there was the official dodgeball movie and then there was like this scary movie like like a bridged movie of it in a way that made fun of it the entire time the two movies mixed together directly in my brain i can't remember which is which but we are up to three gold coins again nice i i caught myself that time i was about to say beautiful again but i caught myself you move past um how do i okay good i can kind of strike it from a distance dash through there we go I'm trying my best to stop saying beautiful at everything. Like I, I had, I had the buh on my lips. I, the, I, they were, they were smushed and ready to go and let out the sickest and wettest buh of beautiful that you've ever heard. But you know what? Because of that preparation time, I stopped myself. Now, isn't that just fantastic? <laughs> I, 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 I swear to God, there is a cognitive like dissonance of just trying to, it's trying to bring me back to the fact of me saying beautiful again. I don't, I don't know what it is. It has been going on my entire time I've been making content. It is just my go-to word, apparently, for some odd reason. But you know what? Maybe more things in life should be beautiful. We should appreciate the things that are beautiful. So you know what? I will call out the things that are beautiful. And you know what? I think I see something beautiful right now. That's right. I'm looking at you, viewer. But I might retract that statement if you don't go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe down below. Because you know what? I am still a small channel. I can really use the support. So if you're not going to support me, you know what? You're still beautiful, but like a 9 out of 10, not like a 10 out of 10 beautiful. But the people who like, comment, and subscribe, they're an easy a 10 out of 10. And if they say something really nice about me, I might just bump them up to an 11 out of 10. That's right. I'm farming for those numbers. <laughs> you know this? Oh, okay, okay. They can't hurt each other. He's got a lot of... You can fire four times in a row? Come on. What's the attack pattern here? Is it three? Is it four? Is it one? Choose. Choose. I, uh, I need you to please leave me alone. Dodge. Hang on a second. I just noticed something. When they dash, see that? They let off a little white area of exactly the direction and area that they're going to be landing in. No, don't you dare. I'm one hit away. You are not allowed to do four again like your buddy. Ugh, okay, we are down to one health. Is there a med kit around here? I would like to just not use one if I could help it. But it looks like that it is going to be the case. Hello there, med kit. I see you hiding off that left-hand side. There we go. Are we about to come on to the boss room? We've got to be soon. Dash. Okay, I'm just in triple slash you. No, you're about to start firing again. Don't like that. Double dash. There we go. Double dash. It's been a long time since I've ever played double dash. Wasn't that Nintendo GameCube? I think it was double dash was GameCube. I remember that being like one of the best, like more enjoyable Mario Kart games was double dash. Oh, come on. Come on. I'm striking at him. You kidding me? Get out of here. Fine. Keep on progressing forward, make me lose a little bit more health. This is this is a secret area around here. Oh wow, it actually is. Yeah, you know I like that. You can just kind of run yourself up against any one of these walls, and you might find yourself a secret. So there is a med kit. Is there any other secrets around here that I should know about? No, not just a little bit of a secret med kit. It's a little bit unnecessary, but it does feel rewarding by the fact that I found it. So you know what? Bravo, bravo, developers. Oh, a little bit of a secret. Why don't we just give you something simplistic? Hang on, there has to be more to this area, right? It's not just this area, right? They, they wouldn't do all this simply for a med kit up in this corner. There is something over here. I'm smelling something a little fishy, and we're not next to any harbors, right? In the last I checked, I don't think... Well, I am close to a river. I mean... Well, okay, let's just go ahead and just dox myself. I'm next to coordinates. <laughs> I'm next to this river, why don't you? I mean, look, I'll be real here. The, between my music video... 
primarily my music video and a couple of my shorts in general i have seen people play geoguesser they can guess your exact location based upon literally the shadows of your wall from the light coming through i mean look if people can figure out where you live off of that then i guarantee you people can find out where i live based upon my shorts and also music video in general like I, they will look at the sky and they know where you are they will look at a couple of trees and they'll be like oh yeah we're in central europe because of those trees and they got the weird yellow lines in the center dash of the road and also they got these yellow like markings of road signs so you definitely got to be in germany and based upon the direction of the sunlight and the direction of your foliage you've got to be in this town of germany you got to be in normandy like god damn <laughs> like first of all my man get a life but secondly, if I ever get lost, we will be dependent upon you. Like, that will be... Uh, you are going to be the people who, like, know exactly where you are in the world. If you were to suddenly be teleported anywhere in the world, somehow your skill set will be invaluable. Like, you will be the echelon of top-notch human beings in the world, Dodge. There are a lot of enemies around here. Let me go ahead and take out the range and still end up taking a hot... Still end up taking a hit. Anyway, a hot hit is what I'm trying... Oh, come on. I could have swore you made a dash effect go towards the left-hand side. Then you change it to the north. You changed the rules. You broke the rules. Where am I going? Okay, okay. Let's backtrack a little bit. Where am I going? Because I thought this was going to be kind of the end of the path. Because there's another path right here off the left-hand side. I guess you're not going to help out your buddy? No? Okay. Just rush head first into trouble. I thought this was going to be like the ending of the path, right? But there is another path that just goes up top that we were just at that we just saw. I wasn't just here. Yeah, no. Okay, it looks a little bit similar to the previous area. I mean, they all look a little bit similar, to be honest. But uh, this looks a little bit more like it's actually coming up to the boss room. Is it? That is. Okay. Okay. Before we progress into that, let's go back again. Take a look at that northern area. See what that's all about. Because that was definitely leading towards something. Honestly, probably another gold coin. I did see a switch, though. There was a switch there to open something up. And I'm always a stickler to try to find more of these secrets, especially when I can very visibly, very, very visibly see that there is a secret right there in front of us. Okay, keep on moving through. You have, okay, dodge. Dodge, okay, we got more ranged attacks. Just keep out of distance of them. Oh, come on, come on. Uh, I, I'm so used to Hades. I, even after all these hours of playing the game, I streamed this game for like three hours. I were on like episode five now at this point, and plus the other hours. I've been playing this game for maybe around six to seven hours. And still, still, I cannot wipe the memory of playing Hades out of my mind. I don't know why, but the idea of a dash strike is just ingrained in my mind. Like, I'm kind of surprised with how much dashing there is around in this game that there isn't a dash strike. I expected a little bit more abilities, not going to lie, but, um, you know, it does all right. You know, I still like all the game that it has to offer. You know, I, I feel like there's definitely more. Uh, where am I going right now? Anything back over here? Hello? I mean, I'm definitely in the trees, but I'm not speaking Vietnamese. Where is... Okay, there is another path around here, right? So we have that up there on that north side. Okay, we need to go all the way around. We need to go all the way a second. Hang on. So, if this is blocked off, I bet I need to hit... I bet I need to hit that switch from the top side where we just were. I bet there's not a way to get to this, is there? No, there is not. But how would I hit that switch to open it up? There's no path to there. It's sitting all by itself. Can I get to it from that block below? A block below it kind of seems a little bit breakable, right? Is this breakable? No, can I like throw a grenade? That didn't seem to do anything. No, the gun doesn't do anything. The laser doesn't seem to do anything. How would you, how would you get in there? Hang on, we've got to figure this out. How would you get in there? There is, it's a completely enclosed room. We have like a closed room kind of like mystery in our oh well that'll do it <laughs> that'll do it you just drop in yeah okay fair enough fair enough a uh, dodge, dodge, dodge oh come on that corner was in the way there's no way that should have struck me that corner was fully in the way don't you lie to me game okay can i get on through here yes i can open that up get another med kit and more enemies are spawning my god okay wait for the dog wait for the dog you dashed around that corner come on now and i took two hits I'm so bad at this game. <laughs> yeah, I just, I don't know, something about the mechanics really do not click well with my brain because I just, it's not that it's fast paced. It's just like, it's like even like that little dash strike, it just feels like maybe it's a little hard to tell that's about to happen. I feel like there maybe isn't just enough visualization 
for my brain to, to quickly understand the fact that something's about to happen because like their little death strikes just a quick little flash and then next you know they're on top of you and like those dogs you know there isn't really much of a quick animation or the, the, the animation is quick there isn't really much of an animation to see before they strike it's almost just about anticipating the timing of it more so than actually visually seeing that they're about to do something can we get lucky and maybe find one more med kit around these parts? Because I did take a little bit of damage. There is one right there below us, but I don't think there's a way for me to get there. And honestly, I think that's an entirely different area that we were at before. Never mind. I may lie to you because I think we can just kind of travel around this left hand side. There are some traps in the way, dodge. Right through, right? Why am I not? Oh, we just have, oh, I'm clicking off screen. That's why. <laughs> clicking off screen. Now we should be able to go through. Yeah, there we go. Give me that one more mech hit, please. Heals me up. I want to continue? Yes, I do. Okay, I was a little afraid that we're going to run into more enemies. I want to be facing this boss at absolute full health. Because the thing is that when we lose, not that we're going to lose, but if we do die and lose, you're going to start right back at the start of the room with exactly everything that you had. So if we come in full health, full ammo, full mech kits, then there shouldn't be too much of concern if we, you know, were to suddenly lose. Because we can just come on right on back with full supplies dodge that trap and not take any damage oh boy okay i have been talking this entire time let's try to concentrate a little bit okay and you know what let's stand up Ugh, stand up we've been recording for about 41 minutes i could have swore it was like five minutes ago i just got done saying we've been recording for like 15 minutes how did a half an hour pass already already like 25 minutes my god time really flies when you're having fun isn't it? time really flies when you just talk the entire time i don't i still don't understand how i do this but you know what before we get in there Oh, if you're sitting down at your computer, maybe you're sitting down at work doing something, stand up, stretch, get those muscles moving, get that voice echoing off my wall, get that beautiful audio quality. <laughs> I just heard that echo a little bit, but that's fine, it's whatever. Get the muscles moving, get some water, you know what? Get some ice water new. Ah, H2 hose, that's right. I'm straight up refreshed and moist. I am ready to go. Boss, here I come. Your ass is mine. And boy, am I ready to... Uh, I, I don't know where I was going to... I was going to say something along the lines of you are what you eat and I'm a little bit of an asshole. So, you know, hey, come here. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> I regret nothing. Oh, God, he's fast. Oh, God. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Grenade. Grenade. Gr 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 grenade. Where's my grenade? I don't... Where's my grenade? Grenade. Okay, good. It doesn't hurt me. Ah, dodge. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. I'm just going to unload everything he's launching. Multiple projectiles. He does three in a row. Noted. He has summoned allies. I don't like that he has allies. That seems against the rules. I'm going to heal up. Okay, I'm taking a lot of damage. I need to take out everyone. Everyone in this area. I don't even know where I am. I am just lost in the sauce right now. He is down to half health. I'm going to use a med kit now. Took another bit, little bit of damage. I need to take out his allies. Yeah, I got him being hit. I can't see myself. Where am I? Where am I? <laughs> I'm dead. There I am. There I am. <laughs> I'm in the pool of blood. <laughs> found him, guys. I found me. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. So he's very fast paced, but I don't want to waste my grenades right away then, right? I He is going to summon allies. I didn't know that was going to be a thing. So he's going to summon allies. I should save my grenades for them when they get all on top of each other. But what I should do is definitely unload all of my pistol ammo immediately. My God, he is still so f God, he is so fast. This is why I don't play Dark Souls. I really hate Dark Souls. I really, really do. Because I just hate the idea of having to watch frames. It just doesn't make any sense. Okay, okay, heal up again. I How do I dodge? I feel like, okay, wait for it. He's gonna, I, I literally didn't even have enough time to do another dash. I don't have enough time. Okay, heal up again. Watch it. Let's watch him carefully. He's, he's shooting projectiles. Okay, he's gonna do one strike. I still couldn't even dodge it. He's gonna do it. I, I'm, I, what is going on? What is, he's striking before his sword hits the ground. He's hitting me before. Okay. Okay, I see how it is. So he hurts you before the attack animation finishes the swing. So like halfway through his swing, he's still gonna hurt you that is notable and he attacks faster than i can dodge so that is something so he's gonna come after me immediately yep get out of the way he's gonna strike straight double dash double dash okay just god I, I, I swear to god i wasn't even in that swing like radius he still hit me with it why can i not okay there we go got a good triple slash into him heal up a little bit i mean a fully base i can't how do you even dodge i don't understand <laughs> no. oh oh 
Oh, oh, Digi D's. Oh, Digi D's. We're gonna be here for a minute. We're gonna be here for a minute. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Concentration time. Let's not even talk. You know what? You guys love the commentary, but I think I actually need to focus up for a moment. I need to concentrate. Ready, set, go. Doing pretty good, doing pretty good. Don't mind me, doing pretty good. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, stop commentating. I need to concentrate, I need to concentrate. Stop talking, stop talking. Why are you talking? Heal up, heal up. Jesus. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna come. <laughs> there we go. It turns out, it turns out if I want to play better, I just gotta shut the hell up. <laughs> go figure. Am I right? I just gotta stop talking and suddenly I can concentrate a little bit more. My God. Oh my. Oh, Jesus. That was, that was something. But there definitely is an attack pattern to it. I just needed to concentrate a little bit more and get rid of the frustration out of my mind. He is a little bit more predictable than you'd think. I'm glad that it took him a minute to even summon enemies. And I'm glad that I started using my pistol aim a little bit early on too, because that definitely does some good damage. We can just kind of unload into them with that. And why did you think it does that thing again where like it swaps out your weapons automatically once you get a new one. Fine, I, I guess we'll check out the new one, I suppose, when we get a chance to. You know, actually, you know, we are, there are some boxes right here. What if I just go ahead and fire this now? Hello? Oh, so it's like a big, like a big orb of damage. That's kind of neat. Like, I can see that being effective. I need to get some ammo back now, though. What is in store? Oh, okay, right. So I believe this is going to activate a little bit more lore as well. So I know surprisingly, I'm going to stop talking again for a little bit, which is amazing. I know a lot of moments of me not talking. I, what even is this channel anymore? Let's activate it. sound and just wham 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 <laughs> i'm trying to predict it <laughs> anything back here that i should know about i'm just kind of swing around anything happening i got a little bit of ammo back i'm slashing at stuff back here a little bit now doesn't really seem to be much but all right we have actually managed to clear up the area let's take a look anything around here that i should be aware of no real armor or secret oh there is a secret tunnel off to the right hand side well before we do that take a look at the left hand side anything hiding behind tree number 2001 no no it doesn't seem like it. nothing behind three tree 2001 anything behind tree 2002 no nothing behind tree 2002 maybe there's something below on staircase number 433 <laughs> what's the special prize is it victory is it money is it fame is it all the above Actually, I'm a little bit concerned. It seems to be a very dark and dreary basement. Uh, I, I, usually, these don't lead to good situations whenever I go into a dark base. Okay, well, this there's spiders. Of course, there's always spiders in the basement. God, I hate spiders so much. I, I, I'm i a little bit afraid of spiders. I'm kind of very afraid of spiders. I mean, if you guys want to know about my spider story and why I'm afraid of spiders, feel free to go check out the video, which I think is titled, like, Drugs Are Bad, because, well, there's a whole story about... Uh, Look, be careful with your medication and be careful with the damn it. Be careful with the hallucinogenics because uh, you, sometimes you just build a lifelong fear of spiders, even though that there's no real reason, rhyme or reason to. You know, I'm just saying, you know, just a cautionary tale of somebody who maybe took a little bit too much of something that you should just be be mindful 
and don't think about spiders when you're doing dumb things in your life because it can end in end lasting results of being afraid of things <laughs> okay i i'm very confused of where this whole thing is going it definitely seems like an area where there are going to be secrets that i'm going to be bypassing right there's a lot of what seems like be kind of like hidden areas no anything past there a lot of different pathways they're in it's in the darkness this be the perfect location for them to kind of hide stuff i gotta stop taking my hand off the controller the mouse because i always go to itch myself and it's just like right when they attack you know itch your neck real quick and suddenly you're being ambushed that's how it is moving you know do i want to move on through i feel like hang on before we go this direction that looks like his actual progression there is more stuff i think up here in the top right there might be another gold coin that we have yet to collect because i think we're only like one away from being unto having like our fifth one yeah somewhere along this side path keep on moving along hey, don't you dare can i go oh and no never mind doesn't really seem to go anywhere okay well i tried let's go i guess towards the area of progression quote unquote let's go towards the area of uh, ooh. <laughs> whatever word that was supposed to be but i would fill up the edge <laughs> again I, my number one enemy gravity I've probably taken equally as much damage from falling off of things in this game than I have of actually taking damage from attacking things. Which, you know, hey, to be fair, gravity is the number one killer, I think. Uh, I mean, how many times do people fall down? E Are you going to say I can make that jump? I I don't think that's really that physically possible. That is like a 30 foot gap. And I can really, maybe like a third, that's like a 20 foot gap, but you're also going up. You know what? I am, you know, maybe I'm the dumb one for trying to put physics into my video game. What do I know? Because apparently not a lot. Uh, nothing really going on around here. Any more secrets? No. Where does this bring us? Oh, of course. It brings us all the way back around to the area that we were trying to figure out to get up before it activates. Okay. You know what? That makes a lot more. Can I maybe break that thing? Is it? No, it can't quite get there. That makes a lot more sense. So it kind of all circles back around, back in on itself. And they come kind of right on back towards the teleporter area, I believe. Well, hang on. Now that we have four of these crystals, before we get out of here, let's just go teleport back there now. Wait a second. We still have one in the north that I haven't figured out yet. And we still have one in the south that I haven't figured out yet either. But I have four cores already. Oh, okay. Well, let's go back to the teleporter because, yeah, there should be something on the south side and there should be something on the north side. So let's go north first because I feel like I just have a feeling that south is going to be a little bit more progression towards something that we're... No, because this north side just goes in elevator and that goes down in that weird convoluted whole cave system that we were very confused about in like that one like doorway that we were unable to open. So we may as well just try to open up this doorway that requires four right o open it y you require four yeah can i can i not open you up from this side question mark no it's it seems like it i mean so i've got to open it from the other side it seems so maybe we do got to go back up towards the tunnel system there's i mean we're missing one we're definitely miss well, we're, we're missing two cores but what are we supposed to do down here i feel like we've explored this almost entirely to its capabilities so yeah it just brings us right on back here huh lots of questions and little to no answers i have ah they immediately attacked oh god i forgot about all this even though i just got done talking about it <laughs> i just got done talking about it and i'm already being hostile towards i see how it is well i'm not entirely certain how to get over the area because i guarantee you i explored this area tenfold i've walked around this entire area probably like four to five times in actuality i'm trying to find more secrets and i was never able to find anything i thought maybe having the four cores would get us through to that bottom gate side so hey if you guys have any idea on how to get to these two remaining cores directly next to the teleporter then by all means please leave a comment down below and all that wait hang on a second hang on one last look we're about to sign off here we're about to sign off here but don't click off just yet because we're going to take one final look here I saw what might be a path, right? I mean, it looks, ah, uh, hello. Okay. I knew it. I knew it. We, there had to be more. Okay. Wait, 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 is there another path over here that activate that? Get that snow the med kit over there. One last secret. Okay. It looked like there had to be an easy path over here. And ah, uh, this looks different. This is definitely different. Go lots of, ooh, and it takes them out in a single hit. 
Oh, I kind of like this. Ow. Oh, yeah, ow. <laughs> I thought maybe he missed there for a second. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ooh, multiple dogs. Multiple dogs. And take... I, I need to practice shooting dogs. It, don't take that out of context. Another core. Well, so what's going to happen? We already have four in the area. Does this start counting towards another one then? Oh. Ah. Uh, so, actually, there is eight? There's eight cores that I need to open up in this area? Oh, well, that seems to change a lot. Well, now that I've gotten that one, can we go back towards that south side and open up that door now, right? I mean, maybe there was something there that I wasn't quite seeing before that just signified that. Okay, let's take one last look. One last. There seems to be something directly ahead of us. Am I missing something? I Look, I'm trying to sign off here, but at the same time, I kind of don't want to because there's just a lot to discover here. We should be... There's so many questions to have. Like, they're just... Okay, so I can't really get over there. Can I activate this one? No, they seem to be going towards the same area. I can't really jump... Oh, hello. Oh, I'm going places? Not very far, but they're places. They are places. Can I... No, I'm falling to my death. Okay, well, that is where I'm going to think I'm going to leave off on today's episode because I am just as confused on where to go with any of this stuff. But hey, look forward to next episode. We're going to be trying to take a look at the very at the very final side of this game. We're going to be trying to take a look at the south side in general because I believe that's where the final room is. We've cleared out the boss. We've cleared out a lot of the enemies on the north, on the east, and now the west side. Yeah, no, still cannot open this door. We need all eight cores in order to do that. And we only have one core there. And that is the only extra core that I am aware of. And I don't particularly see any other ones on this north side. Don't see any one of them over here on this right hand side. So we're missing stuff around here somewhere. And I don't know where that could be except maybe just down here on the south side. So thank you, Digities. I still don't really know how to do any of these outros. But there's one thing that I can always guarantee you. That I will be able to see you guys in the next video. Thank you. And bye bye <laughs>